Up until recently, I used to consider myself a personal computer historian. Uh, I used to enjoy uh, gathering together various exhibits and material regarding the birth of personal computing, telling stories, doing research, uh, and presenting all that because I feel it's a very important part of our culture, of world history. The birth of the personal computer quite literally changed humanity. But recently, I've, be, I've begun to doubt whether or not that is a worthy pursuit. I'm having trouble coming up with the motivation and reasons for doing so. I feel like the act of being historian itself is, and, and in some cases an archivist, uh, is, um, I'm struggling to see the point. So you probably won't see some videos from me for a month or two. But I did want to share this particular video with you because for the remainder of this video, I want to show off one of the one aspect of being a personal computer historian and being involved in the vintage computer community. And that is the community. Um, sometimes when people gather around a thing like, you know, UFO watches or you know, some, some strange thing, I don't know, antique pewter figurines, something. Sometimes it's not necessarily the thing that they gather around, but the, but the point of it is the gathering itself. And uh, I was very uh, fortunate to attend such a gathering about two weeks ago. And it just sort of reminded me of, of maybe, maybe why it's worth going through the effort of, of cataloging this kind of history and trying to preserve it and make it available. So let me give you a small backstory and then I'll start the video. Um, about a year, maybe a year and a half ago, uh, two good friends of mine in my area, who both have much, much larger <laughs> collections than I do, um, and several uh, storage units, decided that it made sense to go together in on a mortgage for a property to house all of their collection. Uh, and they found a warehouse. And so they are, about a year ago, they became the proud owners of a warehouse to store the vintage computer collection. And a couple of weeks ago, they held uh, sort of a one-year birthday for that event. Um, and it made more, you know, it made sense at the time uh, they could combine their, their costs, they could have even more space for, for computers and so on. Uh, and it was at this gathering that I realized that uh, maybe that's why uh, it's worth uh, continuing. Um, so what I want to show you is a video from that event. Uh, it's a birthday party for uh, a vintage computer warehouse. Uh, and this is not a computer reset situation. This is a private facility. Uh, the items in it are, are owned privately by these two individuals. So this is, not a, this is not a giveaway thing at all. It's just simply a celebration of all things vintage computing. And it meant a lot to me, and I hope it means a lot to you.